Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to set up a brand new Windows 11 computer without signing in into Microsoft account. So I know that all the brand new computer, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get your information like your email address and the password so that you can sign in with them or maybe sign up with them and they want to know about your computer. So I try not to have them to know about my computer. Therefore, I'm not trying to sign in to their account. And in this video, I'll try to bypass that page or bypass the problem, uh, that request from the computer. Uh, therefore, we don't have to sign in uh, into Microsoft account. All right, so let's begin. Here I have the brand new HP laptop, just right off the box. Still have the wrapper on here. The next step I like to do is to go ahead and turn on the computer. And let me show you the screen. Try to reduce some of the lighting so that it doesn't. Hopefully you can see it much better now. There's a glare. So I need to have some kind of uh, lighting here. It's quite dark. So apologize in advance about having this, uh, the lighting issue here, but let's get straight into it. So this is Windows 11, right out the box is booting up brand new. Here I have the router. I'll, in this video, I purposely like to show you the router. Um, mine is the Netgear. Yours could be something else like Linksys, TP-Link, Asus router or even your internet provider router. It doesn't matter. It's just a sample to show you how it's going to work. Okay. So when you get to this page, to set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing windows plus control plus enter for more accessibility features, press windows plus U or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to milk, uh, mute this computer here so it's not going to do any more talking when you get to this page select the country or region i'll be selecting united states so you can select whatever country you're from click yes here you ask me for the keyboard layout i'll be using united states click yes second layout for keyboard skip i do not have that here, the first thing you do is ask you, let's connect to internet. Let's connect to a network. If you do not connect to a network, you don't see this gray. I mean, you don't see this next button. It is all grayed out. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll look for my network. My network here is Uber Geeks. Okay. I'm just make up one network here coming from my Netgear router. So let's go ahead and click connect and the password for my Router password Wi Fi is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you have typed in your Wi Fi password, click next. So now you're connected to your home Wi Fi, correct? And you see that little button here, the, the blue button next, it is blue and able to click. So what I want you to do is I want you to walk over to your router. It is either your internet service provider or your third party router. Mine is a Netgear. So what I'm going to do is I'll be unplugging the network. I turn off the power. So I just unplug the power. The router goes off and then I'm just going to click next. So we are faking the computer telling them, Hey, I'm connected to the internet, but at the same time, oops, the internet Wi-Fi is offline. I have no internet at home now. So what you're going to do computer and the computer says, Oh, let me check for updates and see what's happening next. And after checking a few times of updates and they can't get any updates, we are going to bypass the screen and go straight to the computer. Okay. So that's the whole point of the video and I'd like to share that with you.
right so it will bring you to this license agreement we're going to click accept And here it says, give it a name that use the device. I'll be typing owner for now. You know what? I'm going to change that. I'm just going to do AFK. That's, that's the name of the computer. Click next. Do you want to put a password for the computer? No, I do not need that. Click next. And click next. Accept. Click next, HP trying to register my product here, the computer, I'll be unchecking everything. I do not need the newsletter or any promotional code. Just click next and pretty much you're all set. So you just have to wait a little bit for that Windows update go in circle, spinning around and around. They're trying very hard to connect back to my Wi-Fi, and my router is offline. So therefore they can't get back to do that um, to log into Microsoft account page so uh, hopefully this video is helpful to you and if you find the video is helpful please give me a like uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel I'll be appreciate if you subscribe for that and right now your computer is just a standalone individual not logging into Microsoft account so this is just local account setup for your uh, laptop here I hope this video is helpful again hope you learned something bye now